Okay, recording this video for Close Trade Tuesday, 10th of March 2015, and what a couple of days that has been. Sell off started Thursday into Friday and then continued Monday into Tuesday, and we're now down in the 40s, which is a big old move, about 70 points on the way down from this uh, 2110 kind of level up here. But it's not just the E mini, I want to show you the Euro chart, and this is the weekly chart of the Euro. Euro has been decimated. We uh, topped out with a pullback to end of trend back in May of uh, last year. And uh, since then, it's just been all the way down. Broke that weekly uh, cyclical support. And so we're in a downtrend on uh, the weekly chart. And this thing isn't over until we put in pullback to end of trend on the weekly chart. I don't know where this uh, left shoulder and the bounce is going to happen. We're getting perilously close to um, parity uh, with the euro, which is just extraordinary, the move that we've seen down there. The flip side is uh, the dollar index. So the largest component of dollar index is the euro. So you'd expect to see kind of a mirror image. And there we go. You know, uh, I was talking about the uh, uh, this turnover in the uh, euro. We had a U-turn happening here and that was the most important bar. This blue professional bar that came in at support after our Rambo patterns here and everybody's saying the dollar's going to hell, the dollar's going to hell. No. We had this U-turn pattern on the daily chart. You could see it with blue professional down bars and immediately up bars and that was the signal bang and as soon as we broke above resistance we're in an uptrend here. So again same deal uh, dollar index going higher until we see pullback to end of trend on the weekly chart but just been extraordinary moves on the way uh, up and down and all of the uh, all of the uh, forex contracts are on the way down the only thing that's kind of going up is the dollar index so uh, why did we roll over on the e-mini uh, over the last few days well it's because of cyclical resistance on the weekly charts so roll through those just quickly here's the Dow on the weekly chart and there is cyclical resistance came in after uh, last week's pattern we knew that was kind of coming up you could see it with better sine wave signaling that as soon as we got some weakness that was what was going on pullback to end of trend happened with exhaustion buy on the end of trend when that happens I say when the exhaustions on the end of trend wait for the second cyclical turn after end of trend which happens to be this one and then bang that's why we're rolling over there and that's happened on all of the uh, well three out of the four of the uh, major indices so we go to the S&P 500 there's cyclical resistance coming here same pattern exhaustion buy on the end of trend wait for the second cyclical turn one two cyclical resistance comes in bang uh, NASDAQ same deal it's just printed up there you can just see it kind of above that weekly high of last week uh, Russell not quite as perfect on the Russell but you can see you know the Rambo patterns up there so cyclical resistance on all of those charts was incredibly important and it came in with all of these Rambo patterns on the daily charts and I said you know the video a couple of weeks ago when all of these were going off I said just wait a little bit and then it'll happen because we get these Rambo patterns and then it leads to sell sell offs Rambo patterns waits a while and then we get a sell off Rambo patterns and then we wait a while so here on the Dow a couple of ra Rambo patterns you know we um, wait a few days and then bang we get the sell off uh, and it's because the amateurs are leading the way the amateurs are buying the new highs the record highs and they're saying this thing's going to the moon no um, they're kind of wrong footed goes the other way so here's the S&P 500 Rambo patterns sell off Rambo patterns sell off Rambo patterns sell off you get the picture and Nasdaq same deal Rambo 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 sell off and then Russell Rambo 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 a little bit of wait and then sell off so it was not unexpected on the 40,500 tip bar chart this is kind of interesting I want to talk through a couple of things first of all you know the exhaustion pattern this is the key one here where we kept on just playing with the highs and that's a super big reading on the 40,500 tip bar charts like 90,000 and then the bearish divergence comes in marks the top and then we roll over but this is the thing I want you to know when we have and I've said this quite a few times you know while we're in an uptrend we will bounce off cyclical support straight away and have follow through a little bit of carry above the resistance so we bounce off support bounce off support and then we follow through a little bit through resistance that shows that the market is strong Fl flip the argument over when we're in a downtrend so we get the initial sign of weakness here because support does not hold we travel through support and then all of a sudden we're bouncing off resistance that means the market is weak this the market's in balance where the support holds the resistance holds we don't kind of um, travel through 
on either of those who are a little bit imbalanced, then the bearish divergence comes in. That's our first sign of weakness when we travel through support. And as soon as we bounce off uh, the resistance level, bang, we're in a downtrend. And there we go. It's marked with, so that's Thursday into Friday's move. It's marked with a blue professional bar there at the highs, Rambo pattern. I think that was kind of after hours. And then as soon as we're through support here, we're into downtrend on the 40,500 tip bar chart. So that's on the way down. And now the reading that we've got on the downside here, we're at negative 63,000, which is a fairly big reading. And the blue professional bars have come in. So another thing to note, yesterday's trade, Monday's trade, complex correction on the way up. And blue professional bars come in on the way down. And I want to show you the 13,500 chart you kind of could see all of that happening on Monday's trade so this is the overnights kind of going on so this is uh, Thursday uh, Thursday night into Friday uh, that's the open on Sunday and the overnight into the open on Monday and then this is Monday's trade happening here so all those blue professional bars coming in on the way up that's a complex correction Monday was tough tough trading because you know we got eight to ten eventually we got about ten points of range top to bottom on Monday but it was tough trading and we didn't really had any kind of decent breaks but all it was doing was just pushing back up till to that breakdown kind of uh, level up here in the 80s and then overnight we sold off there but now what's happened on the flip side we're starting to see a whole bunch of blue professional bars coming in at the lows and on the 4500 tip bar chart we put in our uh, pullback to end of trend, exhaustion, uh, sell, bullish divergence. And I know we've traveled past there, but they've used that you know, last 15, 20 minutes of trade to push it down on all those blue professional bars kind of coming in, trying to pick up a little bit of a bargain uh, down here at the 40s. So um, at some point, we'll have a little bit of a, a pushback. You know, I don't want to call it exactly because you know, we've got to have, uh, this thing is not over until we put in pullback to end of trend on the 40,500, but we've traveled quite a long ways uh, with Tuesday's activity, so I'd expect a little bit of a bounce back in the next day and a half or so. So let's see how that kind of goes. Now, uh, how to trade it today, 1500 tip bar chart, say when we've had a waterfall decline. So this was the overnight uh, activity. When we have a waterfall decline overnight, you should be looking for shorting opportunities and it's not over until we see exhaustion sell on the downside. So we should have been looking for shorting opportunities here. Even though we have pullback to end of trend, we did not have the exhaustion sell until the full liquidity of the day during the open and that's there. So we're looking for shorting opportunities into that. I got short on the break of this blue professional bar. I'm not sure which one it was, this one or this one at uh, 58.75 because it was a strong day as soon as we went through that uh, support level there knew this was going to travel and I moved my target out to 53.75 we bounced off the original target 54.75 here with a pro signal exit but uh, and we went all the way back to entry point here but then we knew it this was weak because it's a Rambo pattern just sitting in there amateur up bars there and there into that cyclical resistance blue professional bar comes in and we sell off again bang so I was able to pick off my five points by just holding and holding into that kind of sell off move which was really nice and then we had short covering rallies but it was not over until we see this thing just collapsing again and it's got to make our pullback to end of trend type moves on the 4500 tip bar charts so Monday was kind of tricky to trade. Those complex corrections always are, but you know we made up for it today with a nice kind of trending move down. And if you were able to catch this with the uh, overnight fall into a downtrend here, that was a really nice kind of move all the way down, pull back to end of trend. Anyway, so let's see where we go over the next couple of days.